Hello again. Uh, it has been a while, and uh, the reason behind that is, um, so on last Saturday, I, you know, just forgot, and that would have been like a normal thing, because I forget, but then on Sunday, Sunday morning, uh, I was informed that my Nana was in the hospital. Okay, so... She's been in and out of the hospital quite a bit. Um, she broke her hip. Well, she's broken it twice. The same one. Um, and she's had uh, this, like, procedure kind of thing done, whatever, and it was to clear out her arteries in her legs. I don't know. Um, but when I got there, it... Well, actually, so I had a text at like 8.40 in the morning, and but I was still asleep, so I didn't get it, and it was just um, that my mom took my Nana to the hospital at like 4 a.m., and then the text that I got, uh, I think it was later from my sister at like 10-something, was that it wasn't good. Um, so I was in the hospital pretty much from Sunday at probably about, I think it was like 10 or 11, until Tuesday at 2 a.m., I think it was when we left. I don't know. All of the days kind of ran together, but she, so she was in there and she had a, uh, like a CT done or whatever, and it revealed a bowel blockage, um, and then further uh, investigation revealed that basically part of her uh, like intestines were actually dead. Um, so surgery was an option. Um, and actually the surgeon that I work for was the one who was on the floor who was on call. Um, he said that yes, he could go in, he could remove the dead intestines and connect the, the living and, you know, but whether or not she'd make it off the table and then what her quality of life would be after that. Um, I mean, she was 91 and she, I mean, she made it through a lot. Um, my grandpa passed uh, 22 years ago, so she made it through that, she made it 22 years without him. She's made it through broken hips. She's made it through other illnesses and things. Um, she's She was diabetic, uh, which, I mean, comes with age. Um, so, really, she, she, she lived. She did. She, she made it through a lot, and she lived till she was 91. So... Um, yeah, but I've been dealing with all that and dealing with my mother, um, whose mother it was, uh, or she was, so she's kind of a hot mess, understandably, so, um, so I've been dealing with that and dealing with my mom and dealing with all of my uncles and... Uh, my aunt and everybody we had her visitation and all that um, and well on let's see we had her visitation on Saturday this past Saturday today's Wednesday right I think <laughs> um, so this past Saturday so I've pretty much been it's, you know, back and forth between my parents' house or the hospital or, you know, whatever. So, uh, I have not done any videos, and that is why. Um, but, you know, I, it's, it, I mean, it will still take time. I'll still obviously be upset about it. Um, and to make matters worse, my, one of my friends from high school, we, have been kind of on again, off again friends. Um, they actually were in 
they came in my office to see the other general surgeon um, probably about a month ago. And her mom has been battling cancer. Uh, and I guess it was for 10 years. I, I read her little thing. Um, and they came in and she's, she was all, she's always, she was always smiling. Always. Um, but I kind of thought that she seemed a little sick, kind of sickly looking maybe. Um, but I had thought that she had gotten it over it. I thought she was in remission or you know, whatever, but I guess it came back. Um, and she passed away, uh, in her sleep on Friday. So now I have that visitation to go to, um, tomorrow. So if there's not a video tomorrow, that is why I might record it ahead of time. I don't know. We'll see what tonight brings. Um, because I have to go to my parents' house and do a load of laundry so I can have something to wear to the visitation tomorrow. But I want to get back into things, so without further ado, here we go. Welcome back to my holiday series. It's been a long time. Uh, today is Water a Flower Day. So this is my little lonely flower. Uh, there were a bunch before, but uh, they kind of died. Oh, and I have to climb up on my couch in order to water it because I have it little, you know, hanging from the ceiling. And a cute little planter that I made. Isn't it adorable? Um, I got the idea off of Pinterest because, I mean, who doesn't get ideas from Pinterest? And, uh, yeah, so here I go. I'm going to try to water this without getting water everywhere. And just in there. Oh, just a minute, kitties. Boop. Ta-da! Be happy, little flower. You're my last survivor. So, there you go. Water a flower day. It was super exciting, I know. Um, so also, as you may have noticed, uh, my name has changed, my YouTube name here. Uh, and that is actually in honor of my Nana. Uh, she, I was obsessed with the Little Mermaid. And actually, the necklace I have here, it's like a mermaid aerial necklace thing. That's what they call it anyway. Close in the dark. It's pretty cool. But, um, so I was obsessed with Ariel, Little Mermaid, and I didn't actually go by my name. I refused. My parents would call me and I would just ignore them. They would have to call me Ariel. So my Nana, who is also from Boston, by the way, would, uh, say, Ariel, you know, and so she'd sound like Sebastian kind of shit. So of you know, my mind at least. Um, <laughs> I know Jamaican whatever sounds so much like Boston, but you know, she had the accent, so it was just made me all the more happy. Um, so I went through and changed every single social media thing that I have that has a username like that to the LM Ariel, uh, which ironically, my first name and middle name begin with the letters LM. So I thought that that was kind of cool. And also what was really, really cool uh, was Pokemon Go. I know that sounds stupid, right? Well, you can only change your name once. And I had already done that, which I changed it to the Artemis Silvermoon. And, you know, that was my cool thing, like, from high school, maybe even before that. Um, so I emailed them, and I explained to them that my Nana had just passed away and everything, and how I wanted to honor her by going by the nickname that she called me. And sure enough, it, 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 you know, it took a couple days, you know, whatever. And they emailed me back and they said, you know, that they were, they, they sent their condolences, that they were sorry for my loss, and that they said that it was a good, you know, a wonderful idea. And so the next time I logged in to Pokemon Go, it said, oh, hi, trainer, what should we call you? And so I got to change my name to the LM Ariel and... I thought it was just perfect. Um, so yeah, that is going to be my new and final name, username, whatever you want to call it, um, from now on. Uh, and just had an idea pop into my head, completely random. I have a, a little new 
outro I just thought of to go along with the idea of Ariel and mermaids. So with that, I'm going to practice it and we'll see how it goes. Uh, thank you guys for watching my holiday series and um, I'll add in the whole like, comment, subscribe thing, you know, why not? Uh, and uh, I will catch you all on the flip side. <laughs> okay, bye. Was it dorky? I don't know. I'll keep working on it. I, I might tweak it. We'll see.